What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Halo Reach Warthog. I believe it's Halo Reach Warthog. For four is a four, anyways. Um, we're going to go ahead and kill it for you guys now. You can't drive it, but it is definitely, definitely worth unlocking. Um, plus you'll be doing a, a few things at that. You'll be also be unlocking, I believe, is a Bentley. Uh an 8 liter or something like that Bentley I'm not exactly sure what it was but anyways I'm also going to show you guys tell you guys how not show you tell you show you sort of same thing um how to get the uh out of time achievement that's when you have to get the DeLorean up to 88 miles per hour um it's actually a really easy achievement um just pick any long track this one will work if you're doing this race to get the warthog hopefully you haven't done it already before you listen to this video but uh, if you haven't I'm pretty sure you can get it on this one if not just go to quick race and pick the DeLorean it's a DMC DeLorean um, just pick that and just floor it till you get 88 miles an hour it's really easy and achievement unlocked um, other than that uh, getting the Halo Reach warthog I believe it's Halo one again. Um, if not, if it's not, sorry. Um, what you gotta do is basically unlock all the Auto Vista cars so you can actually view them in Auto Vista mode. Now, normally when you start off, you only have four unlocked, but other than those four, I believe you have 20 of them. Do you have to unlock or so? So, there's one DLC as well. You don't have to unlock it, and you don't get anything for it. But uh. After you unlock half the cars, you get the Bentley, you unlock all the cars, you get the Halo Warthog. And um, even if you've downloaded or haven't downloaded the BMW, which is the download car, um, it doesn't apply to anything, so you don't even have to race that one. I don't, I don't think you have to race it. You might be able to race it instead of a different car, I'm not too sure, but... I wouldn't even mess with it till after. But anyways, once you unlock all the cars, since this is my last one, you've unlocked the Warhawk, as you can see down at the bottom of the screen, along with the DeLorean and Auto Vista. So, well, you go back to the main menu, and since you can't go straight to the main menu, and you have to go into the Auto Vista mode with the DeLorean, of course we'll go into that mode. You know, you guys don't want to see the DeLorean. You're going to see it anyways. <sighs> okay. And uh, I've got a little bit of this videos after the, the Warhog. So, well, I actually have a little bit of videos on the Warhog, so you guys can watch that. Anyways, there's the Bentley right there and the Warhog. The 2554 M12 Force Application Vehicle, Warthog. The M12 Force Application Vehicle, better known as the Warthog, is a highly mobile and adaptable platform serving the UNSC. Famed for its toughness and sturdy design, stories about hogs surviving numerous tours of active combat duty abound. But none is more well known than the tale of the Daedalus. Near the beginning of the Covenant War, the UNSC frigate Daedalus went down in atmosphere over the planet Galgaliel, smashing into the irradiated world's high gravity surface. The ship's molten wreckage was scattered for hundreds of miles, an unsurvivable event. And yet, four warthogs had, in fact, survived the impact. Marines from the motor pool had buckled themselves into the hog's seats as the frigate plummeted to the surface. Strapped to the ship's deck, incredibly, the vehicles remained intact. Due to the security restrictions of the Cole Protocol, the Marines would wait months for aid. To survive, they used the hogs to desalinate water and search for food. And they even programmed their radios to broadcast the distress signal that eventually led to their rescue. Thank 
The M12 uses a dependable, low-profile, 12-liter hydrogen-injected ICE power plant. In standard 1G environments, the hog has a maximum range of 490 miles before it needs to refuel. It can achieve a top speed of 78 miles per hour, no matter the terrain. As with most UNSC vehicles, the Warthog is equipped with a Graf Hauptmann solar saline actuator. This enables Marines to crack hydrogen fuel from any water source, reducing the need to transport bulky and dangerous fuel supplies. 